What's going on, Black Stars? So, you know, there's a lot of debate out there on what the right way to train is. From everything from the modalities that you use to the right way to do the movements. And there's a lot of trainers out there that will say every other method other than mine is wrong because I have put in, you know, X number of decades of research and found that, you know, these particular postures, these particular angles, these particular motions, you know, these particular paradigms work and produce the results consistently. But when you hear that over and over and over again from method to method to method to ideology to ideology, it starts to lose some validity. Now, is there a right way to do things? Of course there is. But the right way is a range. You know, think of way as a journey. <laughs> Don't think of your way as in like road. Don't think of way as a fixed point. Um, you know, one of the big, big things that's been debated back and forth for the past couple of years is the right way to squat. You know, your foot and, and hip and knee position and all that kind of stuff. And the simple fact is that there are trends and tendencies kind of across the board that you can statistically pare down into this seems to be our starting off point. And that's great. But understand that all of these, these conclusions that come from research are still pared down conclusions. They are chaos restricted conclusions. They have removed many, many variables out of the equation to come to a static answer. The problem with static answers, they're nice and, and tidy and neat and they give us fun metrics to play with and all that, it's great. And there's been a lot of advancement made because of them. However, they become limiting as well because all of a sudden somebody who's an outlier, who's on either end of the bell curve, um, all of a sudden it doesn't work for them and they freak out. And the next thing you know, you have a brand new method coming out that's the gospel truth because that gospel truth has a different bell curve. You can't take the research as gospel truth. You know, science is great. It really is truly like the best way we have to understand the universe. The problem is that scientists are still people and subject to bias. And organizations that fund research are still run by people who are subject to bias. And we have found over and over and over again so many experiments that were done that all of a sudden get popularly adopted, maybe not clinically, but popularly adopted, all of a sudden weren't holding water because the research parameters were bad or uh, the, the conclusions were tainted somehow or whatever. Science is great, research is great, but it only goes so far. And the real truth of it is, is that as soon as you find a fixed point, that means, all right, now we have a base to do more research. Conclusion really only means next step in research. There is never a final truth, a final answer. So you have to understand that the, the truth, the right way, is a range of things that work. The range outside of that of things that won't work for the circumstance or whatever the results you're trying to produce are is huge. It's enormous. There's a lot of things. You know, running a marathon isn't going to help you become a better cage fighter. You know, eating bacon won't help you be a better vegetarian. Who would want that anyway? Uh, the point is that there are a lot of things that don't correlate and don't correspond, and that's fine. There's going to be this, uh, there's always going to be a massive range of, of obvious things that don't work, but there's always going to be kind of a range of things that work for some people and not for others, and, and that's fine. Um, so here's a simple way to, to de-dogmatize all of it. Are you getting results? Are you getting the results without significant pain or injury, i.e. no chronic pain and no catastrophic injuries? And are you doing so 
in such a way that allows you to progress, you know, to the next step. You know, you should be, you should feel good. You should probably start looking better. I mean, if that's a, if that's a concern of yours, if that's one of your goals, uh, you know, but feeling good, being joint, you know, joint pain and muscle pain and bone pain, all that pain free and getting results should be enough to tell you that you're on the right path. Now, is there going to be a, a, a hack that can make it a little bit more efficient? Is there going to be a hack that can, uh, you know, put, boost your results just over the top or whatever? Sure, I'm sure there is. And that's going to take a lot of self-searching, you know, luckily finding the right trainer or, you know, doing a lot of research to find the right method, you know, which kind of goes into the whole self-searching thing. But I mean, unless you're super, super intuitive and just kind of are super elite on your own, you know, you'll never be without the use of an outside pair of eyes or pair of hands. But the fact is that if you are staying healthy and getting results, you're on the right path. So don't stress out over, is this the right thing to do? You know, sometimes people will say something is better than nothing. It comes with a caveat, but by and large, yes, especially if you're a brand new beginner, you know what, doing a little bit of something, and as long as you're maintaining the idea of, I'm not in chronic pain and I'm getting results, you're probably going to be okay. Because you know what? At the end of the day, having the best, most scientific, most accurate plan in the world won't do you like a good if you can't follow it because it's too precise, too rigorous, too uh, difficult to fit into your life schedule, whatever. Having something a little less efficient but being able to apply just a little bit more elbow grease and a little more determination to it that gets you the results, you're going to be doing pretty well. And if you decide that you need to go to that next step, if you decide you really truly want to be you know, hyper advanced, truly elite, then you can seek out you know, freeing up your schedule, freeing up your life, freeing up your time to do the things the super elite way. But if you're, especially if you're just starting out on your journey, don't worry about getting those super finesse, you know, amazing detail ideas down yet. Work on the basics, build a foundation. Simple calisthenics, simple weight lifting, simple, you know, punching and kicking and throwing and locking, simple stuff. Because you know what, those foundations are what allow you to build to the bigger fancier, nicer, more delicate, more finessey type stuff. So I've rambled on long enough. I mean, I know you guys don't like these long form videos as much, but ah, it's just a rant that's been going through my head. So please, please don't stress out over all the minor details. Just make sure you got your majors in line and move forward. I'll talk to you guys later. Good journey.